During a meeting Monday, the Pikeville Independent School Board of Education unanimously voted to establish its own police force in response to a law that requires all schools in Kentucky to have a full-time school resource officer. Yeah, so it's a, um, we, we, we've worked on, on this uh, based on the passage of House Bill 63, and, and we've worked in conjunction with the city uh, to, to do what we can uh, to, to assure that we have a, uh, a continuous process. We have a great relationship with the city. And I, I said tonight um, in our board meeting, I, I believe it's a model relationship that our city is such a support system to us in all areas. And, and, and so really when we, uh, when we took a look at this, we had great conversation with their city. And, uh, and what you notice is, is they're there in the morning uh, to start the day. We have kids who love seeing the officers and, and that's a, that's a plan that continues. Um, and, and, and then they're there in the afternoons at dismissal. And then anytime we've called, they've always been there uh, to, to meet the standard of the, of the law, uh, the, the, the desires that there be officers on each of our campuses throughout the day. Uh, and so this is, this is to fulfill that and, and to extend upon uh, the great relationship that we already have. It's all in our hands, this life of time that's given to us all. Experienced heart specialist and subspecialist collaborating for the benefit of your care. Top 10% national hospital rankings for patient safety in heart attack and heart failure treatment. The technology and skill to perform extraordinary complex, minimally invasive cardiac, electrophysiology, interventional and structural heart surgeries. This is a heart and vascular institute at Pikeville Medical Center. It is all in our hands, it is all in our when it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. With the help of the Pikeville Police Department, the school district will have officers placed in both Pikeville High School and Pikeville Elementary by August 11th. Uh, yeah, I think that what we see here is, is a trusted adult who will be uh, present in the building uh, and will be there throughout the day. And so... Again, I think uh, anytime uh, we, we work to remove barriers that are in front of our kids, uh, we have people that they trust around them and they, they trust uh, our staff, our, our, our faculty and our staff now. And so we're just adding an additional person to be part of that. Uh, and, and it's someone that uh, it, it will be in, in both buildings. So folks who have law enforcement experience and, and uh, have, have an ability to successfully build relationships. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.